Yes, correct. Okay. Uh, well, my first, first question is going to be, how much is it going to cost me to uh, take a ride with Uber and Bucharest? Yeah, sure. So uh, I'll just briefly tell you about the service that, we, that we've introduced here today in Bucharest. I'm extremely excited to be here. Um, I think in, in November when I came to visit, uh, the thing that really stuck out to me was how excited people here were about the potential for a service like this coming here. Um, and, and we've been hearing calls from, from people in Bucharest and Romania in general about you know, when are you coming to Romania, when is the service going to come here. So it, it's very exciting for us to, to be able to announce today that we're introducing a, a ride sharing service UberX in our sort of initial phases here. Um, UberX is a, is a ride sharing platform which allows you at, at the touch of a button to connect with uh, a friend, colleague, relative, um, and get a ride around town. And it's really about um, car sharing and cost sharing. How do we improve the way people get around their cities by leveraging 21st technology um, that Uber has developed on, on the smartphone? To, to the, same, the same prices um, that the taxis are using in Bucharest, you generally go lower than that. That's why. Uh... The, well, actually, the way that we think about pricing is really, I would say, um, uh, you know, we are always trying to optimize our platform to make it as cost effective and as efficient as possible for people to get around their cities. And so we spend a lot of time thinking about how can we increase the utilization of vehicles and at what price point can we maximize the utilization of the cars that are available on the platform. Who can become uh, an Uber driver? Sure. So the, uh, as I mentioned, you know, the ride-sharing platform is really about connecting you to cars that are already on the, on, the, on the road. And that means ordinary people like you and I. So the service today connects you <coughs> to people who are 21 years and older. Um, who have a vehicle which is 10 years old or newer and have undergone a, a strict vetting process, meaning they've gone through a criminal and a driving background check. Okay. Uh, a white 21 and not 18, because 18 is the, the legal driving limit in Romania. Yeah, I mean, I think we like to, as a company, we've, we've set a standard that, that 21 is, uh, is the right age to be, uh, to be giving someone a lift, and that's the approach we've taken here. Um, you know, I'd also add that you know, Uber is, is physically in Romania. We're not doing this remotely. Uh, we are not connecting with people over email. We are here physically with a Romanian team. And that every driver that you get connected to through our application um, has undergone an interview process with our team here, has met us physically. Uh, we've taken them through a, a short training demonstration about the application, and we've also vetted um, their profile. So you know that every time you request a car, you're getting someone who has a personal driver's license, the required insurance for their vehicle and registration, criminal background check, and a clean driving record check. And that, to us, is the smartest way to approach a ride-sharing service like this. One of the unique things about our system is that every time you do a trip, uh, every time a driver does a trip, they actually get a rating. And our rating system is, I think, the hallmark of quality and why people love Uber, is that uh, drivers are vetted first. But after every trip, they get ratings. So if you do 100 trips, you get 100 ratings. And we look at those ratings very closely. And we communicate with drivers about their scorecards. So how is the driver doing in terms of their pickup time? How is the driver doing in terms of car cleanliness? And these are all ways that we optimize the system so that when, uh, when an Uber um, you know, vehicle comes to pick you up, you know that you're getting in a car that is high quality with a polite driver who's providing a great service. And it provides a bit of a feedback loop. And that's um, really how, how it works. Uh, did you know that? Last year, um, they proposed a law that would uh, forbid anyone who doesn't own a transport license to um, to carry out around people, uh, even if it's uh, for hitchhiking. Uh, do you see this as a problem? What would happen to Uber in Romania in case that law gets passed? Yeah, I mean, what I'll say about our approach to regulation in general is Uber is a pro-regulation company. And we maintain an open dialogue with regulators in every market we operate in, and, and we really view it more of, uh, as a partnership and actually see ourselves as an American technology company as, as a partner who can bring expertise and experience to this exciting you know, field of, of urban mobility. Uh, your service requires you to uh, enter your credit card details and the payments is handled through your mobile device. Do you think Romanian market is uh, prepared for a service that you can only pay for via mobile app? Yeah, you know, it's a good question and I think they absolutely are. You know, the way, the way that we look at this as mobile payments are the future. Um, every market is different. The, the rate of, um, of, of credit card adoption and smartphone adoption varies uh, from country to country in the region. But in general, the trend is, is much more towards, you know, electronic payment systems and, and obviously smartphone usage. And so we see this as, a, as an ideal city to launch the service. And you know, we think over the coming months and years, more and more people will become accustomed to paying 
um, you know, for everything they do online and, and over their you know, cell phone. Um, and, and it's also a, a very safe and transparent sort of transaction environment. So as you mentioned, every payment that goes through on the Uber application is cashless and it's electronic. Um, so we're bringing transparency, I think, to the, to the grand transport industry, um, which is something that's, that's been missing, I think, for a long time in many cities. Um, and, and the payment experience is, is really five, five stars. So for a rider, you press a button, car shows up, you know the driver's location, you know his name, you know um, his license plate, you get a, a message when the driver's arrived, you get into the vehicle, you go to where you're going, and when you arrive, you just get out of the car and walk away. You see the fare, you're prompted to, to rate one to five stars, you can tap that um, whenever you have a chance, but the, the payment is done automatically and seamlessly, and that makes truly for, uh, for an unbelievable user experience. How many drivers do you have if you could launch today? Mm -hmm. You know, the thing for us, it, the, the number of drivers on the platform at a given point in time is not actually what's important to us. And what really matters to us is actually the estimated time of arrival or the ETA. And, and that's really what we look at as a company is, how quickly can you get a car on a Friday night when it's raining or on a Tuesday afternoon when it's sunny? And those are the kinds of things that we think about. And, and that's really, uh, to, to us, how you develop an effective ride-sharing platform. Because no one's going to get rid of their car if it takes 20 minutes to, to, to order a vehicle, right? And so, you know, at Uber, globally, we have uh, ETAs in, you know, under five minutes. That's sort of our standard. In many cities, we have it in two, two to three minutes. Our expectation here is that, you know, uh, on launch day and in the next couple days, our ETAs will be around five to six minutes, five to seven minutes, okay. um, hopefully, and, and they will gradually, over time, get lower and lower as we optimize our platform. You're only launching UberX. Are the other services going to come to, to Romania eventually? And um, what's the motivation behind this decision to uh, only launch with UberX? Yeah. yeah, it's a good question. I mean, I think philosophically, we are all about choice. So we have a suite of products which our company is known for, and, and we love to introduce more and more products to people in, in every single market. Today, we've launched the UberX platform because we think this is a perfect market to do it. Um, there are over a million cars in Bucharest which are, which are used fairly ineffectively. So they sit on average for 23 hours per day on your driveway, on your neighbor's driveway, completely unused. And the average occupancy rate of those cars is actually 1.3 persons per vehicle. And so we look at this opportunity and say, we can introduce a ride sharing platform which makes it easier to connect with people um, who, who own vehicles and make better use of cars that are already in the marketplace and tackle a much bigger problem, and that is uh, congestion, the environmental impact of vehicles, and urban uh, and improve urban mobility in general. And I think in, in 2015, you know, Uber as a company, what we see is big, bustling cities like Bucharest are busy, they are packed, and they are, they're literally bursting at the seams uh, in terms of traffic congestion. So we think this is actually an ideal market to launch on.